Yes, uh, good afternoon. Um, I'm Charles Ndungu. Uh, I'm an architect. I practice in uh, Nairobi, Kenya, and I work with a firm called uh, Triad Architects. Triad Architects is one of the leading architectural firms in Kenya and the East African region. Uh, we have uh, done in the past and are also currently doing work in um, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, uh, Tanzania, uh, Somalia, and even a few, a bit of work in um, Southern Sudan. Triad Architects has been in practice for the last 49 years. Uh, it actually was opened uh, or started by um, a British architect called Amaius Connell uh, in, way back in 1963. Um, we are actually celebrating our uh, 50 years anniversary uh, in September next year because um, the company started in uh, 16th September of 1963. Um, in the past, uh, let me say um, the challenges, uh, as with all consultancy firms, is uh, number one is um, getting uh, commissions um, because um, in our industry most commissions are not repetitive. Um, uh, so every year you have to make sure that you have enough workload, uh, workload to run the company. Uh, so I would say that is um, um, the first um, big challenge. But I would say we've also been blessed because um, through our past uh, portfolio um, and our current um, uh, put, uh, resource base, we've managed to get a lot of uh, work in the last couple of years and I've actually been very busy over the last um, 10 years. Um, other challenges that uh, we face include um, uh, resources. Uh, one big one is um, getting good um, resources in terms of human resource, qualified architects who have the necessary experience to, to run some of our um, large projects. Um, and also resources in terms of um, uh, operational resources like um, equipment, softwares, and uh, all that um, uh, kind of um, uh, resource. So I'd say that's our biggest uh, challenge at the moment. Yes, in Kenya we face a lot of competition. Um, uh, Kenya has um, um, close to 2,000 registered architects, of which um, um, about just over 1,000 are actually pra practicing. So that, of course, means we have a lot of competition. Recently, in the last um, five or so years, we've also had a lot of competition from South African architects and architects coming in from other countries all over the world. Um, so um, that you know is something that we have to live with. I think competition is everywhere, uh, so we cannot um, really complain. We just have to make sure that um, our products are, are good enough to compete. We are we have made a decision to move to um, Autodesk Building Suite, principally because um, it incorporates. Um, uh, some very important programs uh, that we would like to uh, use and have also been using in the past. Um, I think the first one is um, AutoCAD, uh, which we have a history with. We've actually used AutoCAD since 1992 for the last 20 years. Um, but also we are interested in, 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 in the um, uh, building suit because of Revit. Uh, we have made a decision in the last um, one and a half years that we must move the whole office to, to Revit um, because we think there is a benefit in terms of um, being able to work uh, on a building modeling uh, platform. Um, and like we have been uh, working on a two-dimensional um, you know, drawing, uh, two-dimensional drawing platform. So um, we, we are really have made that decision because of those two, uh, those two uh, programs. Um, I think I would start with them um, uh, way back um, when we started with the uh, Autodesk. Uh, we actually um, uh, started computerizing our office in the early 90s. Um, and uh, at that time, we were 
lucky enough to win on a competition basis a uh, design of the um, uh, tallest building in Eastern Central Africa, um, which is today known as uh, the Times Tower. It's a 36 story building. Um, and that building uh, was one of the very first buildings that we did uh, using um, Autodesk um, uh, products. Specifically, uh, it was done in AutoCAD. Um, and way back then, uh, it was really, um, I would say, a bold decision because we had very little experience with the, with the product. And um, our offices were full of drawing boards. Uh, so all the, all the old buildings that we had done had been on, um, you know, on, um, done manually. So it was a bold decision, but I think um, the benefits uh, you know, surpassed the, you know, the, the challenges that we faced. And um, the benefits included um, um, being able to, to uh, quickly then, the, the main benefit then was quickly amending drawings um, because uh, design is sometimes uh, uh, an evolving, it's not finite, it's an evolving uh, field. Um, and you find that um, um, you are constantly, until you get to site, you're constantly always reviewing and changing. And we found that um, uh, unlike before, when we had done the drawings, we'd either have to trash them or alternatively would have to uh, scratch. There's something used to call scratching, uh, meaning rubbing. But because the drawings were drawn in ink, you couldn't actually rub. So you had to scratch off the lines and redraw it, which was very laborious. So um, I think very early on, we realized that uh, AutoCAD had benefits. Uh, there were also other benefits like um, um, when we had to issue drawings to other consultants, their response was faster because we were already working. Uh, we actually pushed them to also go on to the same program and they were already then working on, um, you know, on uh, uh, drawings that uh, they only had to give in their input. So since then we've worked uh, on many, many projects. I would say uh, hundreds of projects, uh, literally, um, on using um, Autodesk products. Um, a few years ago, we also started using um, 3D Studio Max. Um, basically for generating um, three-dimensional um, Im images and sometimes animation, um, but principally images for presentations to our client. And I think we realized then that um, uh, by this time a lot of softwares, this is now in the 2000, 2005, 2006, a lot of softwares, new softwares had come in into the market. But um, um, what we realized is that um, 3D Studio had a much higher definition quality um, that you could not achieve with um, most, if not all, of those products. So uh, through that, we're able to have better presentations, we're able to compete better, we're able to win more jobs, um, and we are still using it in, uh, even up to today. Uh, now, coming to Revit, we have, in the last uh, few years, had to work with um, architects in collaboration from outside the country. Um, and uh, on quite a number of our projects, we are working with um, architects from South Africa and also architects from, from the UK. And uh, it is in this um, collaboration on projects that we became exposed to, to Revit and uh, started researching and reading about Revit and what it is, because some of these firms that we work with were already starting to use Revit. Um, and um, slightly over a year ago, we made a conscious decision that we must move the whole office uh, to Revit. Um, while we use uh, Autodesk products and AutoCAD, we still have a few people on um, other programs, which um, sometimes presents a challenge uh, with drawing um, coordination in the office and even with other consultants. So we have been looking for some time for one particular product that we can put the whole office on. And uh, when we interacted with these firms, we actually realized that that product uh, must be and should be uh, Revit. Um, so uh, we purchased the first licenses uh, last year. A few people uh, were trained and um, they've started using it. And this year, we've also trained uh, most of the remaining ones who had not received training last year. And uh, we've actually made an order for, for Revit for most of the office. And we do intend to have the whole office on Revit from uh, next year. 
Um, my advice to other companies, uh, especially architectural, um, uh, in regard to um, design uh, softwares and improving their design, would be to really consider uh, Revit. I think the benefits, uh, especially when you look at uh, building information modeling, and um, um, being able to work uh, in the, on a building as a um, composite uh, item, not um, a separate, uh, you know, drawings. And uh, I think that presents a lot of uh, benefits. And um, we have seen it with some of the complex projects um, we are doing at the moment. We are involved in the design of um, um, a very um, tall building in Nairobi which is also being done in uh, Revit. This again is in collaboration with another architect out from outside the country. And um, due to the complexities, the building was put on Revit and a lot of the solutions that we have come up with would not have been achieved uh, had we been using um, the other softwares that are um, you know, currently in use in the market. So I would strongly advise um, other firms to consider and look at Revit, Revit closely. Um, and I also think the whole um, architectural community worldwide cannot be wrong. Because if you look at the numbers, you'll see that um, a lot of the leading firms um, really investing, uh, you know, and moving to, to Revit.